Hello, and welcome to Corn of Fine Art. Today, I'm bringing you a drawing video. I'm going to be doing a drawing of an, um, an iris, which is a flower that's springing up right now in May, and there's a lot of them um, in every color, and they're just really beautiful. So today, I have my nature journal, and I'm going to be sketching a simple iris. Uh, because I love flowers and I wanted to share some pictures that I've taken some flowers this is trillium some white blocks another trillium there is a lot of different varieties of trillium it's one of my favorite flowers coney coney well um, I forgot the name of this one, and then the trap lily. But I love photographing them when I have quite a beautiful collection of Polaroids. But today we're going to focus on an iris. So we're going to open up to a fresh page. And recently I've been just sketching some of my plants, as you can see. Um, Today we're going to have a new page. And I have just a number two pencil. And we're going to start by drawing a triangle like petal. So it's just going to go up in a V like shape. And then it's going to start undulating. So I want some curves up here. Okay. It's very relaxing to draw. Since I've been seeing a lot of these pretty irises. All over the place. I've been considering um, painting a watercolor of some irises, but I'm not sure yet. This is why I am sketching today, just to kind of help me study the shape shapes of this flower so there are so many flowers there's um roses also in bloom right now uh, peonies also are starting to come up so May is definitely a month for a beautiful flower show. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite flower. I've definitely been painting a lot of flowers. And I'm planning on doing a video showing you some of my flower paintings very soon. So this one is another petal down here. Kinda goes up like this. And it curves at the bottom. Kinda like a heart. It's it reminds me of a heart mel melting, melting away. Like so. Then it has some fuzzy over here. And 
And then these beautiful patterns on the spiral right here that remind me of um, the roots of a tree. Like so. And then they start kind of fading away as you get to the bottom. And there's some more on the other side. But a little bit fainter. Less pressure on the pencil. So now on the other side, there is another petal, just like this one. same way and this one has a slightly different shape just because of the angle that I took the picture in so the fuzzies are here the yellow pollen and then the texture comes from it like so This flower, the picture I took, it was a beautiful purple, some deep purple with some light purple, and it was just gorgeous. And then you can see the other petal through here. This kind of shape and then the stem. Like so. So I'm definitely trying to enjoy the spring flowers, although sometimes it's difficult to get out there to the gardens. Um, because of what's going on, unfortunately. Um, but whenever, whenever I go out, I try to take a lot of pictures. And I am so inspired by the beautiful blooms. And, you know, I'm feeling like definitely want to paint this with the watercolors. Um, so I'm going to sketch this out on a piece of watercolor paper. And I'm going to paint it. And I'll probably make the video of me painting that one after I post the video of my um, flower painting collection. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you drew a beautiful iris along with me. And make sure that you check out my Instagram, Corona Fine Art, and my website, coronafineart.com. If you want to send me some pictures of your beautiful spring flower drawings, um, you can send them to me via Instagram. I'll love to see them. Okay, well, I will see you next time.